Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. So today, I've had this idea for a while, ever since the DeWalt had that meltdown, where I've wanted to take another impact driver and just kind of cover up the vents, tape them up, and see what it takes to really melt another brand down, since the DeWalt did it so easy. I have my old Ryobi P236. This is just the standard old impact. Then I also have the P238, which is the new three-speed brushless. I got some cloth tape and some electrical tape here. I'm gonna tape up the vents the best I can for some reason. Can't find my duct tape. And uh, start drilling some holes over here in my big two by or yeah, two by twelve, and see what it takes to melt these bad boys down. Uh, I have a feeling that the brushless might go first just because I've really punished this uh, brushed one over the last four or five years I've had it. So stick around the end and see which one of these bad boys melts down. Let's hit that intro. Now this tape job is not gonna be perfect. The whole point of this is just to kind of cover up the vents here and block the air circulation. But you can see that's pretty good. I'll block them pretty well. This cloth tape should work really well. Let's see what else? I got some vents in the back. One more row. Vent in the back's covered, vent on the sides, it's pretty good. We're going to use a big HP battery just because it gives these older tools a little bit more boost. Alright, start drilling some holes. Temp gun. Let's go. smell something. Let's check the temp here. Well, we're up to 93. 103. Yeah, 102. Let's keep going. It's starting to stink a little bit. Starting to smoke. She's up to 130 there. It's getting really stinky. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's smoking right there. See? 
Let's do a couple more. See if it, oh God, it stinks so bad. Ugh. She's smoking good now. It's getting really hard to hang on to. It's getting really hot back here. 190, 220, 220. It's smoking. If I cut this tape off, oh, the stink's gonna come out of it. Ugh, gross. I don't know, can you guys see it smoking there? It's kinda hard to see. There you go, now you can see it. All right, so let's tally up the holes. We got up to 225 degrees. Let's check it again. Yeah, 215, 211. The anvil is 150. The collet is 132, around 120, between 120 and 140. The anvil is in the 140s, and the back is over 200. 220, 242. Even the handle itself is over 100 degrees. So we got the highest temp of 242 on the back. What did I say? In the 130s, in the front, and the handle is around 100. All right. Oh god, it stinks so bad. Ugh. One, two, three. Uh, about 75. 75 holes, give or take. I might have missed one. Really touched that one. And uh, six amp hour, still almost full. Let's wrap up the new one. Ugh, I think it reeks. It stinks. This tape is what's burning. That's what stinks. And the inside's burning a little bit because it's smoking. Looks good. All the air holes covered. Run back and top. Let me switch my board around and we'll start.
Oh, she's blinking. Which, see? Got plenty of battery. Look. Nothing. Oh. The electronic uh, over protection kicked on. Let's see if she's smoking. Nope. No fumes. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Where's the temp gun? Alright, let's see what we got here. Highest temp reading, 171. I got 180. It hit 180. It was the highest temp I got. Let's see what the call it is. 161, 162, 148. See the back. The handle's not as hot as the other one. It's only around 98 degrees. All right, let's keep going. Cooled off enough, I guess, to work. Hopefully we can get her to smoke. Ah, horse shit. Oh, she's starting to smoke a little bit. Come on. I don't think it's the battery. The battery's not hot. It's definitely the impact. Oh, shit. I mean, I don't think she's gonna let us go, guys. Ooh, I just got 198 on there. It's kind of hard to do this. Pretty hot. I like it. All right, well, you know what that means, since we can't make this and melt down because it keeps shutting off. Let's see if we can melt down the other one. All right, let's switch out. Let's switch out the board. Go get the other impact, and let's melt that thing down. All right, let's get her done. All right guys, she's starting to smoke. I got over 300 degrees. I got 270, 269. She's smoking, we're gonna keep going. keeps going. That's amazing. Look at that. See it smoking?
so bad. Oh, okay. We're done. <laughs> All right, can you guys still see your smoking? I had to turn the fan on because it stinks so bad. All right, that was awesome. She was getting really hard to hold on to. So you got 160, 203. I mean, the handle is even 120. The front is 195. The collet. Yeah. You guys see that? Yeah, 192. I had a three, three over 300 was the highest, 311. Yeah, she's smoking, 220. You guys see it smoking? The funny thing is, it's still running. See, these old ones don't have that uh, that protection. Oh, no, she stopped. She's toast. Hilarious. Yes. How much punishment can a Ryobi go through? There you go. We had 75 on the other one. Uh, around 70. there you go guys that's what it takes to melt down an impact driver unfortunately the new one she shut off around 170 degrees and wouldn't let me melt it down that's what the DeWalt was supposed to do but never did and the old school brushed impact I did let's see 70 plus 70 is around 140 probably 160 holes um, and then I just started smoking like crazy I got a hit of over 300 degrees on it and a steady over 200 so she's toast it's not working anymore um, yeah, hope you guys like that. I had fun making it. Don't forget, if you want to check out either one of these impacts, I'll leave links below in my Amazon affiliate links to help support the channel. Remember, all the proceeds are going to go into a pot for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Thank you guys so much. Uh, stay tuned for the Randy uh, delivery video when he gets his uh, package. It's going to take a little while because he lives up in Kanikistan, Canada. Canada. <laughs> Just kidding, bud. Um, he does love, live up in Canada, though. So uh, I'm going to put a little video together of that, hopefully. Let's see what else. I don't know, guys. Thanks for all the new support. The subscribers have continued to roll in. It's been amazing. Watch the channel grow. Stick around. I have like a 1,000 videos in the works. Not really a 1,000, but a lot. I have so many good ideas. i got a couple impact videos coming up. Uh, I'm going to be doing a couple videos of the stubbies, the Milwaukee stubbies. i got these bad boys. We're going to do a video of those. Um, I have some LED lights we're going to be going over. All kinds of fun stuff. And I have some really good ideas for the impacts. I'm not going to do the same old uh, lug nut, lug nut. I got an idea which is going to be kind of cool uh, about lifting up and down my truck with these. Like powering this to lift the jack to go up and down the truck. So hopefully that will be interesting. Alright everyone, until next time, have a blessed day. See ya!